titigil ka, sisigaw ka ba? Talagang unyo ang ang lapat, lapat, lapat. Pero you know what? Sabi niya, at the last part, sabi niya, nung pagdating nung umaga, nung binuwalag na, natutuhan ka, nagdalakad. Sabi niya, natutuhan na nagdalakad. Sabi niya, talagang yung, yung sapatos ko, yung soul ko, talagang grabe. Sabi niya, yung pako. Kasi na, yung medyas wala, basa lahat yan. Sabi niya, pagdating ng morning, sabi niya, pababa na kami na pababa ng mundo. Pagdating ng 8 a.m., Nagulat kami, sabi niya, meron kami count na pinuntahan. Sabi niya, tapos na doon na yung mga parents namin, na doon na yung mga two graduation na pala namin. <laughs> sabi niya, ang sarap ng feeling, sabi niya. Ang sarap ng feeling. Sabi niya, from the day na nag-start kami, pumunta kami na madaling araw, bubi lang ka na kagad nila. All those things, sabi niya, na training talaga, you will value being a soldier. Sabi niya, but you must endure it. You must endure because if you won't make it, you will not be able to graduate. You know? So in the same way, you know, sabi ni Paul, we must endure like a good soldier. So this is a verse 3. And then ginamit pa niya yung, yung athlete. Sabi niya doon, we must be disciplined. We must have the discipline of an athlete. You know, yung mga atleta, ang sarap na kumapalapak tayo, nakikita natin yung mga performance nila. Pero we do not know how much discipline did they put. In themselves, discipline sa pagkain, discipline sa 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 mga inino, discipline sa exercise, discipline sa nilalaman sa mga isip. We believe, we believe that they have to discipline themselves. They don't have to think negative. They don't have to think that are uh, things that would cause them na ma-demotivate sila sa kanilang mga layunin. Ayaw nila napapasok, ayaw nila nabisip. In fact, sabi ni Heidi Reed Diaz, one of her interviews na napanood ko, sabi niya, there was a time, sabi niya, last year, gusto ko umuwi. Uh, parang gusto ko nang umuwi. Kasi ang hirap-hirap, wala ko yung nakuha ng nasuporta doon sa uh, Philippine Sports Commission. Sabi niya, nagmamakaawa kami. Sabi niya, kahit na tulungan niyo naman kami, nagdagan niyo naman ng konti. Sabi niya, kulang na kulang yung ano namin sa pagkain namin. Sabi niya, uh, I have all the reasons to give up. Eh. Sabi niya, pero hindi ako umuwi. Sabi niya, ayaw ko umuwi. Kasi pag umuwi ako, okay, masaya ko ulit ako. Nandun naman yung mga friends ko. Uh, Magkakapi-kapi na naman kami. Sabi niya, makakapag-focus ako. Kaya kahit na meron ng repatriation noon, sabi niya, hindi ako sumama. Nag-stay ako at nag-ensayo ako. Gusto ko na talagang makalitang doon. You see, no, the determination and the discipline of an athlete. So, tama si Paul eh. Na tinuturuan tayo ng mga examples that we must follow if we wanted eternal rewards. Ano po? And sabi nga, and the hardworking farmer. Pinami niya rin yung, yung hardworking farmer that the only, the first one who would benefit the crops is the hardworking farmer. Ibig sabihin, ikaw at ikaw pa rin ang aani ng lahat ng mga pagsusulikap mo. Yeah. Lahat ng mga ginagawa mo, ikaw ang aani. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, ikaw ang aani niya. Yeah. Everything that you do for God, you will harvest it. Amen? Yeah. Yun po ang itinuturo ni Paul. And Paul is exhorting Timothy to embrace hardship for the sake of the gospel. While you are living here, if you want to live, uh, to, to receive the eternal rewards, you must think of what is the, the what are the things that have eternal values. Yung pagkinagawa mo have eternal values. Lahat pa ng mga bagay na nilalakaran mo sa buhay have eternal values. Kasi kung walang eternal value yan, huwag mo masyadong pagkukula ng panahon. Ang pagkukula mo ng maraming oras, lakas, at resources mo, yung something that have eternal value. Amen. Kung wala namang eternal value ng isang bagay, dapat matutunan po natin. Kaya sinabi nga ng Panginoon sa Kristo, di ba? Sabi niya, do not store for yourselves treasures here on earth where there are moths and rust to store Troy and where there are thieves to break in and steal. Sabi niya. But store for yourself treasures in heaven, things that have eternal value. Sabi niya. Sa so, pagkatat ng mga bagay niya, hindi ka makikilabang. And everybody say, yeah. Now Paul gives Uh, four necessities to live with eternal values. And the first one is this. The first is to have the mindset of Christ. Sabi mo sa kanil mo, have the mindset of Christ. Have the mindset of Christ. Sabi niya sa verse 8, remember Jesus Christ. 
Remember Jesus Christ. Alalahan mo palagi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Let Him be your example. Let Him be your inspirer. Let Him be your, your role model. Let Him be your mentor. Remember Jesus Christ, sabi niya, raised from the dead. Meaning to say, He did not remain in the tomb. Meaning to say, He rose from the dead. He went back to the Father. And in the same way, your faith in Christ will also raise you from the dead. Hindi tayo mananatili, mga patay. Tayo'y bubuhayin ko. Tayo pala umabot sa kamatayan. And descended from David. What does it mean? He is telling Timothy, Hey, Timothy, he is descended from David. He is, he is the one promised by the prophets. He is the Messiah. That we've been waiting for. Because the Messiah would come from the lineage of David. From David. And he's pinahako ng Panginoon. And from your... Uh, from you, from you, sabi na ganon, there will not be, uh, uh, there will be, uh, your, what you call this, yung inyong, yung inyong mga, yung mga saling lagi, walang titigil na uupo sa trono. There will always be uh, people from your, from your lineage that would sit on the throne. And that is the Messiah. Kaya po, ito po, pinarap ko Jesus po ito. O katatandaan nung ito, palagi, Timoteo, na si Jesus Christo ay muling nabuhay mula sa mga patay. At yan ang aking mabuti balita. Sabi niya, descended from David, this is my gospel. When we say gospel, it means good news. Ano po? And Paul reminds Timothy to endure hardship is going through. And to do that, he must have the mindset of Christ. Lagi mo isa-isip si Kristo saan man, sa uh, anuman ang uh, pinagdadahanan mo, saan ka man dumadahan sa buhay mo. Paul points out that Jesus Christ died but he has risen. And now, he is sitting at the right hand of the Father. For Paul, he suffered hardship Jesus Christ suffered hardship for the gospel, but now he receives eternal glory. Meaning, when he is now sitting at the right hand of the Father, he is now reigning. And everyone who believes in him will also reign. Hello? At tayo rin ay magre-reign din po tayo kasama ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And for Paul, Christ is the best example. He, is, he should be in our mindset. He should be our uh, source of encouragement. Sa ano mga mga pinagdadaanan po natin. Ano po? The, sabi niya doon sa Philippians chapter uh, 2 verse 8. Dinami din po na example si Jesus. Sabi niya, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So the author, uh, 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 Paul, uh, is, is uh, telling us that if we wanted a... A, a, an encouragement. We, we want to see someone who did this. We have to look to our Lord Jesus Christ because even he, if he is God, he humbled himself. Even to the point of death, sabi nga ng Bible, he became obedient. Kaya no wonder si Paul, sabi nga na, na sa mga sa verses uh, 9, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained by a criminal. Ibig sabihin, nagagawa ko lahat ng mga bagay na ito because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi bakit kahit na dumaan si Jesus Christ sa ganong klase ng, 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 ng sitwasyon ng kanyang buhay, nagtagumpay siya. Ano? Even the author of Hebrews uh, thought of uh, making the point to exhort the Jewish believers in Hebrews 12 verse 3. Sabi niya sa kanila, remember, Hebrews was written during the time of great persecution. Sabi niya, think about Jesus. He patiently endured the angry insults of the sinful people who were shouting at him. Think about him so that you won't get discouraged. 
Kapag ka ikaw ay parang madidiscourage ka, parang ikaw ay susuko na, para ikaw ay gusto na tumigil, o para ikaw ay balisang-balisana, sabi ng, ng author ng Hebrews, think about Him so that you won't get discouraged. Amen? Amen? Don't think about the problem. Don't think about your situation. Don't think about your, your needs. Hello? Think about Him. Yes. Sabi niya, and stop trying. You are struggling against sin, but you have not had to give up your life for the cause. Because Jesus Christ, He has given everything so that we may have someone to look into. Ano, meron tayong uh, magiging uh, source of encouragement. Think about Jesus so you won't get discouraged. Make Him your source of power. Ano po? At sabi pa ni Paul, go to Romans 8, 11, and if the Spirit of Him, yung Spirit ng Kristo, who raised Jesus from the dead, is living in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies, though through His Spirit who lives in you. Kaya yung mga talagang namuway kay Kristo, hindi natatakot sa pandemya. Yeah. Hindi natatakot sa mga, ano nga, mga banda. Bakit kaya pagka meron mga ganito mga pagkatakaw ng dami ng tatakaw na? <laughs> yung dulo sa group chat namin sa Kema, maging mga pastor eh. Mga, maging mga, mga nagtatanungan doon ako, paano naman 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 naman? Eh, wala, last lang tayo. Sabi ko, be careful but not fearful. Yes. Amen? The Bible study mo kayo sa mga bakay-bakay, no? Be careful but not fearful. Pag-iingat tayo pero kung tayo dapat matakot. Alalahanin natin mga panahon ng mga nakuna sa atin sa lumang tipan. Sabi nga ito ni Seth, o oh, hindi ba tayo uh, umabalik sa mga kautusan ng government? Sabi ko, anong pinabalik natin? Wala naman pinagpabawal na registry. Di ba? Doon sa, sa ibinigay na, ng government, ang sabi lang doon, yung mga uh, bandor, di ba? Yung mga computer shops, di ba? Naman na doon? Yung mga parks, yung mga... Kaya wala na sinabi even religious group. That's very clear. Diba? That's very clear. Na hindi niya, hindi niya nagbabawal. But, we still have to be careful. Amen? But not fearful. Sabi mo nga sa katali mo, be careful but not fearful. Amen? Do not let fear paralyze you. Diba? Yung mga uh, Israelita, nung sila ay humahalap sa isang matinding problema, isang giant sa problema, si Pero si Gulaya. <laughs> si Gulaya, pag lumahalap, oh, oh, laking Gulaya eh. Diba? Sabi ng Bible na sa mga uh, seven, seven ba? Nine. Nine foot tall, diba? And he had this uh, sword, meron siyang, meron, meron nga siyang ano eh. Uh, shield bearer may nagahawa kasi ang bigat ng kanyang shield ang bigat ng kanyang shield parang 8 kilos siya tayo may nagahawa ng kanyang shield natin ano at yung sword niya napakalaki at yung boses napakalaki ano ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho ho hindi 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 hind